The battery warning light is on only before starting. It should turn off after a few seconds. But what to do and what does it signal if the battery indicator light on dashboard is still on after starting? If the battery light is on, this may indicate three options. Either the alternator is charging the battery a little or not recharging the battery at all. But it can also overcharge the battery. You will likely notice other signs of a weak battery charge, like power windows that are slow to come up or a stereo that won't turn on. Now let's talk about your car battery light. It could mean it's time to replace the battery. But the light could also be triggered by a minor and easily fixable issue, like corrosion or loose clamps. So put on some protective gloves, consult your owner's manual and then carefully follow the steps below to troubleshoot the battery yourself. Check for corrosion. In some vehicles, fumes from regular operation can cause corrosion to accumulate on top of the battery terminals, especially during summer months or in regions with year-round warm weather. To check for corrosion, remove any covers from the terminals on top of your battery. If you see a white or greenish substance on the top of the battery or around the terminals, you've got corrosion. While battery corrosion is common, it can interfere with the conduction of electricity from the battery to the rest of your car. Don't touch battery corrosion with your bare hands as it could cause skin irration. Instead, head to our next troubleshooting tip. Number 2. Clean the battery terminals. If you noticed significant corrosion or other grim gr around your battery terminals, this could be why your car battery light is on. Fortunately, it's easy and inexpensive to clean your battery terminals with common household items and bit of elbow grease. Simply remove the terminal covers, disconnect the battery cables and give the terminals a hearty scrub. Number 3. Tighten the cable clamps. Sometimes a car battery light comes on because there is a weak connection between your battery and the cables that connect it. While you have the hood open, Check to be sure the clamps are securely fastened to your battery terminals. If you notice that the clamps are loose, use a small wrench or a pair of pliers to tighten them until they are snug around the terminals. Consult your owner's manual for specific instructions related to your vehicle's model. Alright, you've checked for and cleaned off any corrosion and you've tightened up and uh, loose battery cables, but your battery light is still on? The culprit could be a mechanical issue, like a problem with the alternator or voltage regular. Or it could be something systematic like uh, faulty wiring. Let's see about 9 most common causes of a car battery light on while driving. Number 1. Bad battery. Normal 12 volt batteries have a 3 to 5 year lifespan. Some manufacturers uh, toot a longer lifespan, but the batteries should not be expected to last that long. These conventional batteries each have a lead dioxide plate and lead plate submerged in a sulfuric acid electrolyte solution in each of the 6 cells. With age, the cells or plates can break and the electrolyte solution can leak. If this happens, then the battery needs to be replaced. Bad wiring or bad grounds can also cause the battery to not take or hold a charge. Number 2. Bad alternator. It's relatively easy to check the function of the alternator with a multimeter. The voltage should be between 13.6 volts and 14.6 volts. If the voltage is less than 12 volts, the battery light is triggered and you likely need to replace the alternator. 
the voltage regulator, the component that limits the output to a safe limit of 14.5 volts, can also be the culprit if it isn't working as it should. Number 3. Bad alternator belt. An alternator belt is crucial since it connects the alternator, engine and accessories together. Belts can crack with a H or even completely break. They can also be misaligned too tight or too loose. If a bad alternator belt is the cause of the battery warning light, it may also cause squealing from the hood when the vehicle is running. Number 4. Corroded battery terminals. The positive and negative battery terminals are channels for the electricity, so it's important not to increase the resistance by covering them with other substances that are poor conductors. Corroded electrical components are poor conductors. This is often a source of bad connections in an otherwise healthy system. Corrosion is the white, blue or green product of a reaction that happens with normal use and is accelerated by persistent heat, so hot climates are associated with more corrosion. Number 5. Loose battery cable. The battery cables should fit snugly around the battery terminals to provide a good connection. You should not be able to rotate the cable and uh, by hand around the battery post. If there doesn't seem to be a good connection, tighten it with a wrench or pliers so that it fits snugly. Some battery bolts can strip out if over tightened, so be sure not to overdo it. Number 6. Bad battery cable. Battery cables deliver the power from the battery to the vehicle itself. It, uh, if the power can't get to the vehicle, it's unusable. So these cables are small but mighty. Number 7. Bad ground strap. A ground strap or ground wire completes the circuits of different components around the vehicle so electricity can flow as it should. If the ground strap is damaged or detached, the battery may not be able to charge. More than likely, you will notice a specific subset of components in a localized area start to act up if a ground strap is loose or corroded. Number 8. Faulty wiring. There are a lot of wires involved in the electric charging system, so if any of these are broken or disconnected, then the battery warning light may come on. Wires typically break around the connectors rather than further up the wiring harness. The wires and connectors may become stiff and brittle with age. And number 9. Too many accessories in use. Since the vehicle's accessories run off of the alternator belt, which is also how the battery is charged, using them in excess can symphony too much electricity leaving the battery hungry. This can sometimes occur with an aftermarket sound system that uses an amplifier that consumes more power than the alternator can handle. Usually this is the case when adding a large power hungry subwoofer. What to do if the battery warning light is on? If you are driving and the battery warning light comes on, know that uh, you probably don't have much time left of driving before your vehicle dies. Try to get home or to mechanic as soon as possible. To get the most out of the juicy left in the battery, reduce the accessory loaded, uh, load to the bare essentials. Turn off the HUAC uh, system, don't use power windows, take your phone off of the charger and sign to yourself instead of using the radio. Whatever you do, don't turn off the engine until you've reached your destination. The starter motor takes a lot of electricity and if there uh, isn't enough charge uh, in the battery, then the vehicle won't start. Keep an eye on your temperature gauge as overheating can be an associated with the charging problem. 